All right, just got here to 102nd and Burnside, hopping off the train. We're gonna walk down about four or five blocks to Mall 205, which is soon to be no longer. All right, just getting here to Mall 205, and here is the sign, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna remove the mall part, maybe even the entire piece there. But where we're heading is right down here to the Home Depot because next to it is the entrance to the mall. Now, I'm not sure 100% what exactly is gonna happen. I'm not sure if they're actually gonna be demolishing a piece of this um, or just leveling basically the middle piece. Uh, but I know some of the bo bigger box stores like Home Depot and Target will probably still stay. So I'm guessing it's probably just the middle piece, but let's get up here and get a better look at the soon to be gone mall 205 i guess i'll just call it a you know big box location i guess you would say and uh we'll see but here's the home depot here's this side and we're going to maneuver our way around the other side right now all right as you can see big parking lot and the mall basically goes from target all the way across to you know Home Depot here so we're going to kind of just make our way down this way go into you know the main entrance to which is now not gonna be mall 205 but I guess they're just gonna call it maybe a strip mall instead of an actual indoor mall but just in the last year or so they've actually closed the entrances from you know the bigger stores like target and home depot to where you can't you can't access these bigger stores through the through the inside of the mall i'll show you guys what i'm talking about as we get up here this is it this is the last day of it technically being mall 205 i don't sure i'm not sure what they're going to call it maybe they're still going to call it mall 205 maybe not but I know for a fact this is actually the very last day that you'll be able to enter right over here where we're going. And you used to be able to, like I said, go through there and get to the other stores through that entrance. These cherry blossoms are awfully pretty. So here is, you know, technically like the main entrance here where you would walk into the main mall itself and then you could access you know, all the way through here. It would cut through Home Depot over here. And I believe they've closed these off now. But we're gonna go in here and check out kind of what's just cooking. And I was told that this is it. So this will probably be the last time we actually come through these doors, you guys. Pretty sad, actually. So yeah, we're just going to kind of walk through here and remember the past. And I remember when this was Pizza Schmitza. It looks like it was Pisano's Pizza for a while too, but I like the old school checkerboard floor. And yeah, really no pizzas cooking today. So just right when you walk in, you can see the remnants of what used to be. And directly in front of us here, that was the Bed Bath & Beyond. We were here in October for the Spirit Halloween. They set up shop here, so it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. Because I'm pretty sure all these middle pieces will be totally gone. I'm not sure if they're going to actually demolish this piece or just kind of close all this off completely. And you can see down here at the other end, that was the Home Depot. And they've actually sheetrocked that in. But as you poke the camera in here, absolutely nothing. And so this uh, this is probably the deadest mall now, other than, you know, Lloyd Center. You can still see the remnants of the Bed Bath & Beyond, the old signage. So they've cut a lot of this out over the years. There's not really much stores that were even really here, even though now it is finally closing these ones were really not even 
operational. This bicycle shop went out a couple years back. Um, there was a couple proprietors of the building still, um, but once Bed Bath & Beyond closed, a lot of the foot traffic along with it, the only folks that were coming through were from, you know, Home Depot and Target, and once they closed off these these doors here, you know, there really was no foot traffic other than this other exit here in the back. I'm seeing this once opened here with Bed Bath & Beyond sitting here to the right. So when you walk down this hall, it's just pretty eerie. Really not much, <laughs> like I said, not much cooking at all. And so, okay, so yeah, this guy, he was here for a long time. The All-American Magic Theater, who performed a lot of ma uh, magic. And it was like a little magic shop and gag store. He had set up shop like in the middle of the mall in a little kiosk and then had this little store as well. Oh, it looks like he's moving into the Lloyd Center. So yeah, Lloyd Center is still kind of around. They're trying to really revamp. We did a video there a while back. So it looks like he's going to find a home at Lloyd Center, which I'm guessing, you know, all these have been closed for some time. So there's not really any other places here. And up here you can see some remnants of the old Spencer's Gifts. They were here. One of the main staples of the mall. I remember coming here as a kid around Halloween time. Even before the Spirit Halloween, we would go to Spencer's Gifts and check out all their Halloween decor. Looks like 24-hour fitness is still here. So I'm guessing they'll probably maybe sheetrock this side off. Um, because they still have to have an entrance for the gym. And then check out the 90s decor inside here with all the old school architect and lighting. Yeah, that is definitely maybe even 80s. And then the flower pots and the tile floor with the purple. Man, this thing is bringing back some serious mall vibes. Hanging out at the mall as a kid in the 90s. with the old 90s and kind of slash 80s decor with the kind of rippled architect. Oh, Aussies. That's right, Aussies subs. It was kind of like an Italian, little Italian deli. And I'm noticing, yeah. Oh, yeah, so there was some retail spaces up top here once as well. And you can see the Home Depot. They've got their entrance here to the back, but I'm pretty sure these doors are now locked. Like I said, they closed off the main, um, you know, the entrances that you would go through this this part to get into the mall. So it really cut all the foot traffic out of these small businesses. And here's one of the little store, in-store plaques here that kind of would show, you know, a layout of where each store stood. Here's some of the businesses here. Oh yeah, these are all Cricket's gone, Famous Footwear's gone, Bed Bath & Beyond's gone, Aussie's Deli, Paisano's Pizza. Yep, all gone. So I'm guessing, yeah, this will all be, all be removed. Mall 205. Yeah, these are uh, basically just relics of the past now. It's probably going to be from, you know, this corner to where the target, they sheetrock that wall in. So it's probably going to be from there over. All this will be gone. So this will be the last time we actually get a walk through here, guys. Pretty sad, actually. A lot of good times coming here. Yep, this will be the last little walk through here. Really unfortunate, just because of the memories. Oh man, look at this. Kind of the old lighting too. There's some folks still hanging around in here. And obviously all these ones are all gated up. Got an old uh, beauty nail salon here. Kind of peeked the camera in here. 
Yeah, it looks like more of a storage area at this point. No nails today. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing, but really I'm I'm disappointed. It's just too bad that there couldn't be more like Ma and Pa style shops that could have moved in here and, you know, help save it. Got all the old mall plats here. Some of the old signage here. Oh, look at they've got all the old Christmas stuff from when it was Christmas. And some of the old kiosks here. City books. This is cool. This was nice of them to let me document this. Kind of taking some of the storage in and out, making room. So we've got some famous footwear still rocking, but you gotta love the old school architecture here and here's the target ghost sign here where they sheetrock the the old sign in there or the side really to the entrance That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, creeper out for now. Peace.